Yo, 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 what is up? It's Tristan down at MLG Mario Kart. I left you off on a cliffhanger. On a major cliffhanger. We have a very uh, dark spot in the ground here. <laughs> you can actually see, I, I don't know if the quality's gonna be, yeah, like, you can totally see that. Look at, look at that. Those edges right there. That is, that is some blurry edge right there. If that's not an indication of what we need to do to this part of the floor, I do not know what is. So we're going to take a quick step back and enjoy the panel of flooring falling out. I hope I hope I don't fuck this boss up majorly. Cuz I feel like I'm probably going to. It's like he just comes around like, "Yeah, what's going on? Just chilling. Just chilling down there." And Link's just like, "The fuck are you? <laughs> what's going on?" <laughs> either, yeah, either that or he's just going like, "What's going on, bud?" All right. So I think it's to the corners if he's rolling. I think it's to the corners if he's rolling and then throw a bomb when he sucks in. Oh shit, that's right, you have to... Oh, <laughs> okay, I was, I was really scared there. I was like, do edges work? Do edges work? I don't even know. Oh no, I keep running away! No! 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 Okay, good. I keep fucking running away. This boss is- wow, this boss is easier than I remember. <laughs> I like how he's still like- you can tell- you can totally tell that he's still hitting me, but he's not even doing anything. I, this boss- yeah, this boss is way easier than I remember. I think this does it. Yeah, that- that- wow! That's easier than the and I died on Goma, and this guy is like... Wow. That is way easier than I remember. That's actually kind of disappointing, to be honest. They could have made that- they- they had potential to make this boss really cool. Like a fire boss, that- they could have done just about anything, but they decided to do that. I mean, I guess if you couldn't figure out a strategy... Because I think with the, the smaller Dodongos, I think the way to, that you really need to kill them is by throwing bombs when they're sucking in. Um, heart piece. Oh, glitched heart piece. But I think the way you really need to kill the smaller guys is by, is by throwing bombs while they're sucking in. So that kind of gives away the strategy right away. I mean, I skipped them because I'm, you know, just MLG like that, and I decided to speedrun and We got our fifth heart container, guys! That is fucking boss. That is, we are, we are just balling out of control right now. They go into the very sketchy portal again and trigger the cutscene. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, no, like, the, the strategy's already there. It's already out there in the open. Um, I don't know. That's kind of a that's kind of a so-so dungeon for me. Um, I kind of like the sequence where you get the bomb bag. I like that sequence. I like that part of the dungeon. But um, oh god, and he's just murder. He's actually literally we're dead. It's off screen, but we are we are actually just died right there. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it's like you know, journey over. Link's dead, you know. So, but anyways, no, like that's kind of a so-so dungeon for me. It's it's a little bit. I mean, it's a little bit longer than the the Dehu tree, but I don't know. All the ch none of the child dungeons I'm really quite I'm really not that fond of. Um, I guess the the Dehu tree is pretty cool because it's classic. I absolutely hate Jabu Jabu's belly with a passion. Like, not so much the not so much the dungeon itself as um, he likes me. Oh boy. Uh, we're sworn- oh my god, we're sworn brothers now. BROTHER! But, um... But, uh, oh, spiritual stone. But, I just- that fucking octopus. Not even the actual boss, just the octopus. That fucking octopus just kicks my ass every time I fight it. So, be prepared for either editing or many rigorous tries and lots of frustration because that boss just kicks my ass every time I fight it so that is gonna be a thing that occurs 
What what would be my favorite devil? Honestly, um, honestly, despite despite the fact that I said I was kind of like the freaking like the ceiling masters and the um, brother. Despite the fact that like the ceiling masters and the sculptures kind of used to freak me out, I still gotta say the the forest temple is probably my favorite uh, dungeon in this game. De actually, no, I I'm not even not even doubting that at all. That definitely is my favorite dungeon. I really the music is cool in the forest temple. A lot of people think it's creepy, but I've always thought the music in the forest temple is really awesome. And uh... oh my god, what's my second favorite? Let's go. Let's go with a top three right now. The water temple. As much as I want to like the water temple, oh my god, I think the water temple's cool. I think the mechanics of the water temple are just fucked. Just who the fuck designed? Like, oh, make the water go up, make the water go down. Put on your iron boots, take them off. I I don't know. I I think just the fact that I really like water settings usually um, makes me kind of biased in the sense that I, I kind of like the water temple, but I absolutely, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I hash this out when I actually get to the water temple, but, um, let's just say for now, oh, what, god damn it, <laughs> um, not the shadow temple, the shadow temple kind of sucks, and I really hate the spirit temple, oh wow, not even close, awesome. I'd say the fire temple second, water temple third. Dropping it down to th oh shit, there's actually a sculpture that I can get up here, if I remember correctly. Oh fuck. Um, because I always thought the fire temple was pretty fun. Um, the fire temple. One of the things I really thought was cool about it, the puzzling element of the fire. Oh damn, the puzzling element of the fire temple was actually uh, was pretty fun. Um, they really, they really, I think they nailed it on the fire temple. Like, not too much, not too little. Um, the dungeon's, like, complicated enough that it's really not too bad, but it's, it's, you know, it makes you start thinking. Um, oh, this is just a chest. Fuck. Oh, damn! 50 rupees! Actually, is there anything? I don't know if there's anything. I think... I don't think this works. I think you need the Song of Storms for this. Yeah. Oh, damn. I think you need the Song of Storms for that, if I remember correctly. Um, but regardless, we're going to go down and we're going to get that sculpture. Because I know there's one sculpture that there's that one bomb of a wall down near the bottom. So we're going to go get that. But as far as the dungeons are concerned, I really like... I really, like, I, I kind of sounded right there like I was trying to, like, hate on all the dungeons. Like, oh my god, I hate the Spirit Temple, I hate the Shadow Temple. Like, I really do like the dungeons in this game. Um, I just, in a, in a sense of, like, you know, getting a top, you know, three or four together, um, it's kind of difficult because, you know, there's not really one that... Other than the Forest Temple, because I really, I'm actually really a fan of the Forest Temple, I will... Can I really not get this one right now? Wow. That's a load of garbage. I really wish I could get that, because I really want that. I think 10 Skulltulas gets you the first prize, so... But... I don't know. I really, I really do like the dungeons in this. I, I don't mind going through them, I just... Like the like I said, like so there's certain mechanics in each one that just kind of pisses me off, and I'm sure everybody else is the same way, too. Like, the Water Temple always gets a lot of shit, because everybody's like, Wow, you know, that's just... Why do you have to do all this? But... I don't know. I really do. I, I really do think this is a classic, despite all this. Mainly because I just think um, the world itself is a little bit cooler in this game. I think they really nailed the world itself uh, in this game. Skyward Sword. I thought, well, the the what is it? The 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 actual ground itself. Like when you go down to ground level in Skyward Sword, that's really cool. They they got a lot of diversity with that. But the sky was kind of left left lacking. Um, Wind Waker is a classic game, which I unfortunately have not actually played through um, entirely. But I also felt that kind of Wind Waker, in a sense, was like, wow, there's really not a whole lot in the sea. Um, but like this in this game, I love going to Lake Hylia. I love going to the fishing place. 
Um, I, I feel like the fishing place is... I feel like this is the best fit. I mean, maybe it's just nostalgia. Maybe nostalgia is really what's kicking in right now, but, um... I feel like the fishing place is the best in this game. And just, I don't know, I just feel like this is the best world out of all of them. But that's, maybe that's just me. Maybe, it, also, maybe it's just the nostalgia kicking in. It, it could be, but, oh, fuck. Just rupees? I thought there would be something awesome in here. But, uh... Yeah, I mean... I love this game. Definitely Forest, Forest Temple number one, um, Fire Temple number two, and Water Temple number three, but there's an asterisk next to Water Temple for sure, just because of the mechanics, so we'll settle that right now, and I think, oh wait, I already got the, I don't know what I'm doing, I already got the Hylian Shield, so there's a heart piece that you can get at night from there, but I'm not going to bother with it right now, because you have to do like the grave digging tour. And I'm just not in the mood to be waiting for that dude to be trudging around, so. Honestly, probably not a whole lot's going to get accomplished in this episode, just because we all look because it's like, I don't really care. I just know that you're cursed, and I need to make you uncursed. I need you for a bigger wallet, sir. Probably not a whole lot's gonna get accomplished in this episode, to be honest, just because I was really, it was, it was really basically just gonna be, we all knew it was really just gonna be the boss, um, I mean, now we're at 11 minutes, I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, I'll just run around, see what, see what's there, I, I forget all that we can access at this point in time, um, I know we can go to, like, Hylia, that's for sure, um, cause I think we gotta go to Zora's, actually, no, I think we have to just go straight to Zora's Domain. Um, I wonder if the Happy Mask Shop is open yet. I don't remember when that opens in the game. Because we could go buy that mask for that dude. And get the money from him. So that's always something we could do right there. We could also go to Lon Lon Ranch. There's a mini game there that'll let us a bottle. But, uh, we will see. You know, let's just go here. We're, we're closer to this right now. We can see if the Happy Mask Shop is open. Because I, I honestly, I honestly can't remember. Oh, wait a minute, there's a great fairy, too. Oh, awesome. We're, we're going there, too. Uh, well, let's see if the Happy Mask Shop is open. If not, we will go straight to the great fairy that's right in the uh, Hyrule Castle. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, this is what we're doing. Itinerary for the rest of this episode, essentially. Uh, bring, well, get the mask. Yes, you will lend me the mask. Thank you very much. So, get the mask. Going to the Great Fairy, bringing the mask to the dude, and if all of that is fucking not going to take up the rest of the time, I'm going to go to uh, Lon Lon Ranch and do that minigame, get the bottle. No, I want your thing. Sir, I, I want your thing. Would you like to be a happiness salesman? I will lend you a mask. Yes, please, I would love to be a happiness salesman. Let me skip your text, though. Oh, if you want to read the fine print, look at the sign. Read over there. After you have sold the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Thank you, sir. Yes, I want the Keaton mask. Please, for the love of Christ, just give me the mask. We have a great fairy to be. To, we have a great fairy to get to, guys. I could do that minigame, but those fucking marksman minigames always piss me off. I might. I may. I may do it. We will see. I may just have an episode, like, honestly, I might just record while I'm playing those minigames, and I might just, like, have, like, a montage of all my winning runs on the, uh, on the minigames. We'll see. I don't know. It's pretty, it's easy enough to get by without them. So, we'll, we'll see if I want to do those or not, because those always just piss me off. Uh-oh, crawl space time. I was about to say, this better be like an actual great fairy. I, I'm pretty, I was pretty sure it was a great fairy anyways. I hate those like cock block uh, regular fairy fountains. Because you just go in there and you're like, oh sweet, am I going to get a power up? And then you just don't. You're just like, oh, my health is already full and you're giving me health restorative. Thank you very much. What?
Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I want a great fairy! I want a great fairy! What is, what is this nonsense? This- What? No! She gives you magic in general, that better not be glitched. I- That's game- That's game breaking. That's game breaking if I don't fucking get that. If I don't get this, this breaks the game. Okay. I was about to say, and the fairy better fucking come out right now. What is going on? Can I not access her yet? I thought this was the first great fairy you get to. I swear, this makes no sense. I am so confused right now. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave and pray that that is just not supposed to be right now. Because if that, I'm I'm pretty sure she's the one that gives you just like straight up magic. Like here, here's magic. Have fun with it. Um, so if that's the case, I'm pretty much fucked. What is... Oh! Up the ladder we go. Alright, well that's... Disheartening. <laughs> that's disheartening to say the least. So I guess, uh... I'll have to give that man and his douchebaggery his mask. So, yeah, that was kind of uh, the other uh, yawn. That was kind of bullshit, to be honest. I was hoping that was uh, I was hoping I was gonna get some magic on my hands right there, but I guess not. So, anyways, off to uh, off to Kakariko Village as I roll. Hoping to save time. I don't even know if this goes in. I assume this goes faster than just walking. I mean, that's what everybody does, so... I would imagine this. I know the fastest way is to side jump, but... I'm not gonna fucking line myself up and... Do all that shit. Oh yeah, it's fucking dusk time in Kakariko Village. I always felt like... I always try to, like, time myself. When I go to places where the time stands still... Like, whenever I go to the fishing place, I always make sure that it's, like, either dusk or nighttime. Just because I, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I've always felt like fishing at dusk and night is just, like... I, I can't even explain the feeling. It's, like... If it's, like, cooler, or if it's, like, more calm and serene, I guess is the word. Um, but I've, I don't know. I've always enjoyed fishing more when I... I just, like, wait until night. Because, I mean, time passes by so fast anyways that... You don't really have to worry about it, so. Where... Why have I forgotten where I was going? Oh, the mask for that dude. I've... Wow. Short-term memory for days. Um... I don't even think... He doesn't deserve this mask. He was an asshole to us. I should not be giving this to him. If this... If not for this side quest, you would be maskless, sir. Um... I think I have to wear it. What? Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh! Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. Like, what? what is this a character from? There's like, what is it, like comic books or like fucking... There's no TV. I doubt there's any comic books anyway. What is this, like stone tablets? <laughs> Like, where is this- what medium is this character, uh, taking place on? I have no idea. Uh, okay. So I gave him the mask, and now he looks like an idiot, because for some reason, even though he could clearly just set it next to him and nobody will steal it, because he has a very pointy spear, um, he decides to wear it anyways, and that was just a load of malarkey again. Oh yeah, we got that empty slot. Okay, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that empty slot. 
I'm doing it. Wow, this has been a very uneventful episode, but I'm just gonna go pay back that money because that's just how I roll. Honesty for life. We just take that money and run, even though I only got one rupee out of it because I have my rupees capped. Actually, I should probably... Because I don't really feel like waiting for uh, time to go by, so I'm going to go over here. Actually, no, I don't even have to go over here. I can just wait and then... Uh-oh, can he make it? Can he make it? Can he make it? No! Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, what is it? No. Alright, I, I totally forgot the sun song right there. Don't worry guys, I got it. Oh, what? Okay, good. I was about to say. <laughs> what is this? And then it opens again. Alright. Make up your mind, guys. So we will go in, and I'm probably just going to cut this episode off here at, at getting them, at paying the money back, because... Actually, wait, there's a sculpture in there. I'm getting the sculpture and then... And then I'm ending the episode, because... That's just how we roll. We gotta get all the sculptures we can. Yeah, so I'm, I am losing some serious dough on this deal right now. Which is unfortunate, but you know what? It's, it's for a good cause. We're making everybody happy. That's what we enjoy here down at MLG Mario Kart. Giving you guys content that will just make you... It will just make you happy, guys. That's why we like to bring you the cool, consistent variety that we do. You know, we got, some, like I said in the last episode, we got some Mario Golf coming. We got some PlayStation One, classic PlayStation One games. I'm not gonna spoil that, but actually, that's probably gonna get uploaded before this, though, to be honest. So, actually, it'll definitely get uploaded before this, because this is like, I'm, this is the third episode I'm filming right now. So, definitely. So by now, you would have already seen it. Where it's uh, the freaking world's scariest police videos. Uh, video that was already up that was MLG as fuck, I would imagine you've already told. But, um... Oh! I'm an idiot! I just said, oh yeah, I'm gonna go get this gold and then I just walked straight out of the fucking place. God damn. This is not a kid-friendly Let's Play by any means, because I am just... F-bombs have been all over the place right now. I should try to, like... Oh, hell yeah. Got ourselves a Skulltula! Is that nine? I can't remember if I got one in the in the in the middle here. Yeah, that's nine. Okay, I'm gonna make my rupees back here. God damn it, mosquito, get out of my face. Get out of my face! I don't even think that was a mosquito, that was like a gnat. Alright guys, well I'm gonna cut it off here, because I really have nothing else to accomplish. I'll probably think of something um in the meantime. I mean, I've got three episodes, so I've got a little bit of time to uh, decide what I'm going to do next. Um, maybe hit the Lon Lon Ranch, get the bottle. Maybe get an episode of Fishing in. You never know, because you get the uh, the scale, I think, or maybe a heartbeat. I don't remember. But I just enjoy fishing in general. There's probably going to be multiple fishing episodes, by the way, just to let you know. Just because it's that badass. I love fishing that much in this game. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to cut this off here. It's been your boy, Tristan, on an MLG Mario Kart. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys. Peace out.